Okay, anybody who's seen enough movie adaptations will know how it usually goes. You've got a great book that gets adapted into a movie, and the writers end up adding in a love interest for the main character that didn't exist in the book, and ends up being a useless addition at best, and can ruin the entire movie at worst. Everybody knows that's what happens when you add in a love interest, right? Well, not always. Sometimes, adding in a love interest can actually enhance the story, or dare I say, make it even better than the one told in the book. And today, I'd like to discuss a movie that I would say did just that. But to do that, we have to go all the way back to 1932. Now, before we discuss the movie in question, we first have to talk about the book it was adapted from, which in this case is The Island of Dr. Moreau. And obviously there will be major spoilers ahead, so if for whatever reason you don't want anything about this book or any of its adaptations ruined, I would highly suggest you click away now. This is your one and only warning. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, The Island of Dr. Moreau is about a man who ends up stranded on the titular island, where he quickly finds to his horror that Dr. Moreau has been experimenting on animals to try to turn them into human beings. With the jungle full of Moreau's failed experiments which resemble human-animal hybrids. Now, Moreau has no regard for these creations, as his only goal is to successfully transform an animal into a man, and any creation of his that in any way resembles an animal is a failure in his eyes. He does set up a law for his failed experiments to follow, but only to keep them tame so they won't interfere with his work. And the stranded man goes along with all of this, but only because he has no choice. Eventually, however, Dr. Moreau is killed and his creations start devolving back to their animal origins. And after doing everything he can to avoid being killed, the main character is only saved by a fluke when a lifeboat happens to wash up on shore. Though somewhat controversial when it was first published in 1896, the island of Dr. Moreau has been acclaimed and studied by many over the years, with scholars in particular praising its many themes and allegories, with one of the most important, according to the book's author, H.G. Wells, being the fall of dictators. Now, this book has gotten three movie adaptations, with the 1996 mess starring Marlon Brando probably being the one that comes to most people's minds. And there was also a mostly forgotten 1976 version starring Burt Lancaster as the Doctor. However, the one I'll be discussing today is the book's first, and often considered best, adaptation from 1932, which starred Charles Lawton as Dr. Moreau, and whose title was slightly modified to Island of Lost Souls. And if you can believe it, this version actually tells a much darker story than the one presented in the book. Now, Island of Lost Souls follows the plot of the book relatively closely, with a man ending up stranded on Moreau's Island and quickly becoming horrified when he finds out about his experiments. However, this adaptation changes Dr. Moreau from a man obsessed with his work and indifferent to everything else to a sadist with a god complex, actively seeing over the reciting of his laws and making his failed creations worship him like a god, while also threatening them with more pain if they disobey him. The movie's most famous line, other than the misquoted, the natives are restless tonight, do you know what it means to feel like God, only drives this point home further. However, it gets even worse, because he's still a man obsessed with his experiments and determined to prove to the world what a genius he is. And that's where the topic of this video comes in. Now, just a quick discrepancy for those still in the dark. The narrator of the book has no love interest, and even makes a point of stating after he escapes that he spent the rest of his life in isolation after his traumatic experiences on Moreau's island. Moreover, Moreau's only goal with his experiments was to perfectly transform an animal into a human, and indiscriminately worked on both male and female animals in equal measure. All of this was changed for the movie, and quickly takes it to levels that most writers wouldn't dare go today, 
Forget in 1932. All right. So in Island of Lost Souls, the main character, named Edward Parker, has a fiancé from the start named Ruth that obviously is not in the book, but I'll get back to her in a minute. Now, another change is that Moreau had only ever experimented on male animals up to the point that the movie starts, with his only female creation, a panther woman named Lota, being what he calls his most near-perfect creation, and certainly his only one that could convincingly pass for an actual human. Now, once Parker ends up on the island, instead of just tolerating him like in the book, Moreau actually decides to use him as a guinea pig to see how Lota will react to him, with his end goal being to have him actually mate with her to see if and what kind of children she would produce. And his plan almost works, too, until Parker thankfully finds out the truth. But then, if you didn't think that was bad enough, it gets even worse. And that's where the love interest Ruth really comes into the picture. Late in the movie, Ruth is able to track down Parker to Dr. Moreau's island. And by this point, he's already made it clear to Moreau that he's not going to go along with his sick plans. So Moreau, never one to waste an opportunity, persuades them to stay the night and tries to have one of his creations rape Ruth, all in the name of his twisted research. Thankfully, he doesn't succeed, but this crosses the line even for his assistant Montgomery, who turns on him in disgust after realizing just how far he's willing to take things. Now, what's my point with all of this? That by adding in a love interest for Parker, the movie adds a whole new dimension to the story and especially helps to put Dr. Moreau in a different light by showing the length he'll go to to accomplish his goals. She doesn't even have that big of a part, but her impact on particularly the ending can't be overstated and thus proves to be an integral part of the story and especially the character of Dr. Moreau and even to a lesser extent Montgomery, who's a pitiful drunk in the book, but here actually gets to redeem himself by finally rejecting Moreau when he pushes things too far. I guess what I'm trying to say is, the book, as H.G. Wells said, shows how dictatorships fall. The movie, however, shows what dictators are willing to do to get what they want, and how they'll use and abuse anybody to serve their own ends while misusing their power however they so choose, and how it always destroys them in the end. Because, I'm not gonna lie, I also think Moreau's death is a lot more appropriate in the movie than it was in the book. But I'm getting off topic here. To backtrack, the movie shows how dictators view other people as nothing but tools to be used as they please, and this is best shown through the character of Ruth. To Moreau, she's nothing but a vessel to carry the next phase of his experiments in, with the traumatic consequences of what would have happened if he had succeeded being nothing but youthful idealism to him. And if this character didn't exist, this aspect of him wouldn't be nearly as spelled out. As a result, she ends up exposing just how monstrous, insane, and evil Dr. Moreau truly is. She's also rather progressive for the era this was made in, refusing to just sit around taking a drunken captain's insults, going out of her way to do everything she can to find Parker, and does the logical thing when she sees a monstrosity trying to break into her room instead of just lying there and doing nothing. And you've got to admit, that's not bad for a character that wasn't even in the book. Okay, to start to wrap this up, if you ask me, Island of Lost Souls may be one of the best examples of how to add a love interest into a story that didn't previously have one. Because instead of just being there for the sake of having a female character, or for having somebody for the hero to rescue, she actually adds to the plot and characters in very meaningful ways, putting the characters in a different light from the book and ultimately showing who they really are through their actions regarding her. She helps drive home the point that Moreau will do anything to get what he wants, and before she even shows up on the island, even serves as the main reason why Moreau didn't succeed in his attempts for Lota to seduce Parker, proving her to be a very important part of the story, and certainly not a character that was clumsily thrown in just for the sake of it. Okay, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. 
So what do you think? Do you think a love interest can successfully be added to a story? And if so, do you think Island of Lost Souls does a good job at that? Or do you disagree with everything I just said? Please feel free to let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I hope to see you all next time.